Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Studio Gallery. And I want to turn you on to a few things. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. This is some three day old paint in the very bottom of this. And some bottles I emptied as I wanted. I needed a new bottle for my uh, 24 karat gold by Deck Ward Americana that I finally got in the mail from Amazon. Anyway, so I have all these colors. And I had the Venetian Blue from Modern Masters Metallic Paint Collection. And I added Sargent White Pearl in there, and I got the most fabulous color. And I'm looking forward to using that. Maybe some right now. So I'm not sure what this is going to look like, but I'm pretty sure that if I cover the canvas with paint and add... I need white paint. There we go. I might want black paint too. Um, add my colors in ribbon dribbles, I'll get something interesting. Now if I use my oxo omelet turning spatula, see how far that paint will go. Best paint spreading tool around. Do not mind if there's any schmutz on the canvas or in the paint. All kinds of other stuff is going in there. That paint is looking thinner than usual, which means maybe I might want to Use it for a Dutch pour. Not that that's something I do very often. Almost, almost never. Whoa, that was the compressor for my airbrush. Wow, that jumped me. I get stuff. I got tweezers for stuff too. I've got tweezers on my Amazon link next to the. Uh, well, I've got tweezers on my Amazon link, and the Oxo omelet turning spatula is there. So are my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas. My number one being my favorite, and that one has some paint on it. I'm going to put that in the bucket right now. That is why I have two or three of them. Because every once in a while, at the end of the day, I walk away and leave my tools, and it's not a good thing. I don't recommend it. Okay, so that paint is just meant to help us slide other paint. I was going to scoop, I was going to put this in another dish and scoop it out. Maybe I will still do that so that we can see what we have. And as that drains, also it'll keep the gloppy stuff that was in the bottom from doing any harm. I have a bunch of gold mica mixed up with some GAC 800 and Floetol. And I think it was from like last summer. But I haven't been using it because I've been enjoying the... Sorry about my head. Um, Decord Americana. 24 karat gold. That is supposed to be open. Okay then. Where's that blue? <laughs> Let's grab some of that blue. Maybe a little more turquoise. What I'm craving is um, some magenta. I'm going to grab a shovel. I get these at the dollar store with a bucket. Ooh, there's some nice cells in there, which reminds me, maybe if I want some cells, not only will I put some, some more turquoise in there that I like, but I will grab the acrylic enamel. This one says it's a gloss. And that will usually make cells. And I kind of want to put my favorite neon multi-surface acrylic from Folk Art in there. So, let's just dribble our way to happiness, shall we? Because I can. Let's move some bottles out of the way, too. Ooh, I like that gold. So, sometimes when I put something on the canvas, it's just nice to tip it and see where it will go. And since I'm, I've decided right now this is recreational for me, there are no rules. And I could even wind up swiping. That gold mica didn't used to show. It used to sink some. I have new things to mix things with. Primary elements from color art. I have polypore and things like that. Where is my... I was going to use my black enamel from folk art. Right there. There it is. But I have this... Prussian blue in my hand, and I am very interested continuing my playful ribbon dribbling and tipping. Because at a certain point in time, if I start to get colors that I like, I'll, I'll maybe, just maybe, be able to figure out what other colors would go nicely with them. Now I can do at any point in time a bunch of stuff, including using a skewer to move paint. Not that that's important right this second. 
I can also use it to mix, to swipe. And I've got basting brushes, which I often wish that I had given myself permission to play with. I'm craving orange in a, in a horrible way. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm not sorry. And the, the colors that I like together are this bright orange and then the lighter orange. If I get to a certain point where I'm still not sure about what's happening, I'll probably dribble black or whatever. I may add dots. <laughs> I could do anything at this point. Because I'm... That just came out, didn't it? No, it was the Prussian blue. My mistake. Okay. Well, so far I'm not disliking those colors. They're just not really ringing any bells for me yet. And I want this purple. Although I do have a nice purple with some metallics in it and I'm still never sure where it is from. I think it's a dioxazine purple that was a Hobby Lobby brand. And then I put some iridescent purple, excuse me, iridescent gold fine in there. And that's another plug bottle. You'd think that I would be better at this by now, wouldn't you? All right, well, I got that plug and hopefully came all the way out. Maybe it didn't. I always wanted to just give myself permission, just like this, to dribble where I want, when I want, for no other reason than I want. Oh, I almost, I've got all this paint left in the bottom of my cupcake container, and I am not sure it's viable. Yeah, it's yucky. <laughs> so now we have some yucky paint that I insisted on trying to use after three days. Oh well. So, yucky paint aside, we're gonna keep moving. This is one of those moments where, you know how I always say I never do a thing, like scrape a canvas? <laughs> Let's see what we can do with yucky paint. Yucky paint can become cool paint. I swear, I believe that. And paint will lead paint. And even nasty, yucky paint can be covered with other colors and become cool. And there's always swiping and enamels and 24 karat gold. Or I could just use more of the mica. I'm still being called to some of my quinacridone magenta that I have the iridescent pearl fine in. I think I'm going to do what I said I was going to do and just give myself permission for either more purple or black and some gold. Probably. Because I've got all this gold that I never use. And it used to be too thin, and it's definitely not too thin anymore. I definitely want to swipe. It doesn't mean I'm going to. It just means I want to. And what? Maybe a little more of that. just emptied my pink today and I just found this pink which is an iridescent and I'm not sure what it is. I think it's a color shifting pink from Folk Art. Just watching where everything is going. I'd like to keep it moving toward the light for you guys. Oh, I forgot my edge catcher. And 
and dumping bottles over it. Let me grab an edge catcher. I pulled that one in from outside earlier today. So I'm thinking, ooh, am I thinking? That could be dangerous. <laughs> Just add some yellow. And it might or might not be a good idea. Um, I'm gonna keep right on using my gold. This is totally abstract expressionist free form. Just me playing with paint. Don't usually use the enamel for just dribbling, but in this case it's handy and I feel like doing it. And watching where my paint is going. I just did a painting day before yesterday, maybe now, two or three days ago. And I called it Black Opal Seduction. And it was fun to do. And it started as a complete mess, <laughs> which I'm sure you can identify with right about now. I am just dying to do what I said I was going to do and add the black. I just haven't quite got the nerve yet. I like putting in rivulets of solid colors and then letting them drip down to change the composition. I like doing that a lot. And I could do, I still got some paint left in my dish. Just to change things up, and I don't promise I'm not going to do the uh, the black. Although I really haven't grabbed the black yet. Maybe a little bit more of this blue. Because I never drip drop. I see that huge thing in there. I bet you saw it before I did. Whatever you are, go away thing. All right, I'm not sure where this is going, but I am going to do what I said I was going to do. Here goes nothing. Because I've never done it before. Not on this, ex not in this extreme way. I did have some paint in a pan one time, and then I dripped white into it, which gave me the idea. I've got all kinds of stuff underneath that doesn't need to be here. I like that. I don't know how much I'll like it when I'm done, but I like it right now. So chances aren't that bad. I have GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures, which means in theory, it's meant to keep the paint from cracking if it's left heavy. And I'm thinking about leaving this heavy. That came out a little too fast. Now, if I tip this, it's going to change everything, and I kind of really like it the way it is, but I got to, in order to find out what's going to happen, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm especially going to contemplate Or even follow through on adding the orange. This reminds me of something. It reminds me of abstract fish for some reason. Is there any more paint I can have in here at all? Because if there is, I'm taking it. That is a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula. Anything that I add to the little black dots is going to make them make everything more dimensional, in my opinion. 
I'm liking my colors. It's a very abstract expressionist design and it doesn't bother me a bit. I say that, but why am I saying that if it doesn't bother me? Um, okay, I'm having a good time. How about that? That's what's important right now. And is there anything else that I need? I kind of think this is the only place that ever, the eye is being left, led off the canvas. So I kind of want to change some things up so that everything is more likely to be balanced as far as that goes. I don't know if I'll get away with it, but I'm going to give it a shot. Just gonna keep giving it a shot until I feel like I might have a shot at satisfaction. This is all about leading the eye around inside the composition, for me at least, right now. I love those black shapes. They just, I don't know, they really just float my boat. Now I've still got a basting brush. I don't know if I want to risk it. I might like it a lot. I want to say thank you guys for joining me. Make sure to check out my Amazon link. Oh, those are good. I like those. <laughs> my Amazon link is under the link tree and that's where you can find Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. And you can also find the OXO Omelet Turning Spatula. If you shop on the Amazon link, you help me out. And I really appreciate that in the long run. Eventually, it helps me buy art supplies, which in turn helps me make more videos. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up now that I'm mentioning it. I don't know how much further I want to go with that. That last mark was a little dubious. But I love the texture. I'm addicted now. <laughs> This is too much fun. I'm having a ball. Good thing that GAC 800 is in here because I don't think I'm tipping any more paint off this canvas. And this is a wild show. I'm really happy with this. I know I'm a strange duck, but I'm an artist. So it sort of follows. I'm gonna let that black go down right over the edge. Yes, I'm using my fingers at the last moment. So, if you guys wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. I really want to tell you how much I love you guys and how much your comments mean to me and they mean the world to me. You keep my morale boosted all the time. I don't want to break up those little orange things too much. Do I? <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll find out. One spiral won't kill me. I like the dots. Uh-oh. <laughs> She discovered dots. Put a few of those in there. So Teespring clothing below the video is mine. Uh, all over print leggings and t-shirts. If you ever find a, a design or you see something I've made that I can reproduce for you that can be on leggings or t-shirts, uh, Teespring's the place. That's under the video. I got one minute left and you're going to be gone. Link tree. First blue link under the video has all kinds of stuff and under that is my email in case you are interested in a lesson at the house in Spring Hill, Florida or you have an interest in making a purchase which uh, it helps if I have the hashtag number from the title or the title and the, and the date of the artwork you're interested in. Look for fans in Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and more. Fans and, fans and Collectors is uh, a place to look for the albums with the edited artworks from YouTube. Um, appreciation is for students and Totes and more is for shopping my pixels.com and Find Out America sites. Uh, there's a shop now button on the Facebook page. If you're looking for my books, I have two, volume one and volume two, because I can, and unlimited possibilities. I want to say thank you guys and look for the end screen video, exhibition video with the monthly prizes included for those of you who contribute to PayPal or Patreon. And you guys keep me going and I hope you heard that. Oh boy, oh well. I will see you guys anon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery. Just having a ball. I love you guys. See you.